sensors get ready. It's time for me to talk that shit, and don't worry, 947, I'll get y'all out of here soon. Now I know what you're thinking. Why, why, why are you out here so angry? Why are you so mad? You got a beautiful baby girl on the way. You got a girl that's working three jobs so you can play PlayStation all week. And she's 23. Bitch, I'm 37. That's called game. Somebody who has come to answer the challenge. Are you kidding me? White Mike issued an open challenge, and it seems like he's got quite a challenger in Kobe Carino. Kobe Carino, the current NWA World Junior Heavyweight Champion, is here. Is he here to answer the open challenge? Okay, cut his music. It's my shit now. We're not worried. I can't believe that that you come man. out here looking as silly as you do, thinking you hot, thinking you the man. Hey, won't you speak your mind? Because I swear to God, I love having me a Carino in here. I'm the fucking Dusty around this place. I'm the Dusty around the Carolinas. It's me. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. Y'all got me here till ten. I'm gonna have you here till midnight. You know what, I Mike? I was thinking about coming out here to answer your open challenge. But then I heard you call yourself the baddest. And it got me thinking, if y'all know anything about Colby Carino, Colby likes to get a little hardcore, right? Colby likes to get a little wild. So if you really the baddest around, why don't we make this a no disqualification match? on and it is for the IWE championship. What a crazy way to start off an, a main event heavyweight title bout. So we had no idea coming into this moment who would be the opponent for White Mike who is celebrating 
his uh, first 56 days as the IWE Heavyweight Champion, but it could be his last day if Kobe Carino has anything to say about it. I guarantee you, in White Mike's head, he is the greatest IWE Heavyweight Champion of all time. Oh, that's an absolute guarantee. He totally believes that. But it's scary to me that he represents this company as our champion with Caleb Kitchens running the show. I have a lot of respect for White Mike because he comes from my neck of the woods, North Charleston, South Carolina. But he says he's come. he comes from the streets of North uh, Charleston, South Carolina. Well, who am I to argue with him? Or, or, or better yet, who am I to disagree? Kobe Carino with quite the pedigree being chopped there by White Mike. And what a first test for White Mike in the IWE Heavyweight Championship. Kobe Carino, he wants to become the IWE Heavyweight Champion. There it is. Sit down power bomb. Count of two. Almost do, like a Liger bomb there. Do you not think that Kobe Carino wants to call his legendary father, Steve Carino, on the phone tonight and say, Dad, I am an IWE Heavyweight Champion? He absolutely would love to say that. And now it looks like we're all going to count together. Revving up for the, uh, oh, I thought we were going to get the 10 count, but not exactly. What a right hand. There is 10 coming from Colby Carino. White Mike is a despicable human being, but he trains. He works hard. He is not the IWE heavyweight champion for no reason. Well, I'll tell you what. He might find out tonight that perhaps the chase to the title is easier than maintaining the title, as he is in big trouble right now. And be careful when you. What a. Oh, wait. The drop kick got blocked. Kobe Carino caught. Oh, wow. Big power bomb onto the apron there by White Mike. I didn't know what Kobe Carino was going to do there, but be careful when you issue an open challenge. Absolutely. White Mike, he got Kobe Carino, and now he's got a no disqualifications match. White Mike, deceptively strong, and uh, he does not want to be known as a transitional champion. He doesn't want to be the shortest reigning champion in the history of this company. But it could happen if Kobe Carino has his way. And our referee, Mike Fullerlove, is uh, being rather lenient when it comes to this count because he understands it's a title match. But wait a minute. Did they agree that it's an ODQ match? I believe so. It's a White Mike issued the open challenge. That would explain why Mike Full of Love, our referee, is not counting. So when the challenger came out and said, hey, I want an IWE heavyweight title match, I'm taking this main event, but it's going to be on my terms. There it is. But meanwhile, there's a choke, and again, there's nothing that the referee can do about it because this is a no DQ match. And now, Colby Carino has moved into the crowd very dangerous place to be. Extremely dangerous. We need the people to be very careful because you know White Mike could care less about these people. But Colby Carino taking it to White Mike here in the crowd. Colby Carino telling the people to watch out. Oh my gosh! Our IWE heavyweight champion just went through a whole bunch of chairs. He sure did. And he's up against the wall. When these IWE fans bought a front row ticket, I bet you they wasn't expecting this. No, they were not. Everyone's getting a front row seat right now. I'll tell you what. You know, we talk about we, this company's called Intense. But, oh, wow. One of the fans just threw a right hand there to White Mike. And now a fan. A fan is being assisted with a drop kick. Right here in front of us. This is why they call this intense wrestling entertainment. You this, talk about unpredictable. This is definitely a main event that the IWE fans are going to be talking about for years to come. And now it looks like there could be some traveling. Oh, boy. These guys are battling all over the IWE arena. 
my God, what a chop. But remember, Gerard, this is a no DQ match. It is. But it's not a false count anywhere match. That is correct. Oh, boy, they're way close. A lot closer than I want them to be over here. Oh, boy. I do not they feel are, safe right now. I don't feel safe either. They're over here on the table right where we are. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on. I am not a trained wrestler. Neither am I. I hope we survive this. Oh, my God. Don't do this, White Mike. Don't do this. Please don't do this. White Mike. Gosh, this is scary. This is, oh, gosh. An elbow on the table. My God. These two guys are pulling out all the stops. They certainly are. When they said no DQ and they would fight everywhere, I didn't think they'd be up here. When White Mike issued that open challenge, I guarantee you he was not expecting this. He certainly wasn't. They are literally traveling all over the IWE arena. And they're moving into the merch area. You know, I saw Kobe Carino eyeing a Cody Fluffman shirt earlier tonight. Well, he's making his hands on it. And now Cody Co Kobe Carino bashed the head of the champion into that table. Our, our view is, oh no, but now they're on the table. Oh boy. Could this be a, it looks like it could be a scorpion deadlock slash sharpshooter on the table. Can he tap out here? Remember, false, I don't know that falls count anywhere here. What unique offense by Kobe Carino. And another elbow there from Carino on the white mic onto that table. At this point, Kobe Carino is just trying to beat down White Mike, get him in the ring, and get the pinfall. He certainly is. And remember, the IW reach out. Oh, but White Mike from the table. White, oh boy. White Mike is unhinged right now. And that's saying something because he's usually very unhinged. The White Mike. The power on the table. The Sultan of Stank wants to retain his IWE Heavyweight Championship. And he's tonight. living up to his name fully. Our cameras are over there, as a lot of the cameras are of the IWE faithful. The phones are out. As White Mike is now in control of this matchup. As perhaps they may be traveling closer to the ring. White Mike, the current reigning IWE Heavyweight Champion, would love nothing more than to retain this championship under these uh, rules of no disqualification. This is pure chaos here in the IWE arena. But White Mike seemingly got thrown down the stairs there by Kobe Carino. White Mike is just being tossed around. He's tossed and driven. Battered by an angry sea. And it's hard to see where they are right now. They are certainly out here among our crowd. Kobe Carino is setting himself up. Carino, he's running. And he jumped in a big flip. A big flip. I have Onto the floor. I have never seen anything like that here in IWE. I'll tell you what, you're seeing things that you thought you'd never see here in IWE. And all of this is for the richest prize in this company, the IWE Heavyweight Championship. Colby Carino trying to get these fans to clear out because he's got plans. Kobe, Kobe Carino has taken the title of this show a little bit too literally. He certainly has. And Colby Carino now, oh boy, he's got a trash can. You can only imagine that he looks to take out the Sultan of Stank, take out the trash. But, oh, he just threw that and bounced it off of his head. White Mike is in all kinds of trouble. Colby Carino dragging White Mike 
seemingly closer to the ring. Finally. Watch out, boys. Let's get back in order here. <laughs> well, with no DQ, it seems like no order is the order of the day, as now the trash can has made its way to the ring. And so has a steel chair. And we got another steel chair coming in. Kobe Carino is pulling out all the stops to he's become certain, champion tonight. He's pulling out the stops and all the chairs. We got another chair. Kobe Carino looking for chairs everywhere. Oh, wow. I feel like DJ Kelly when it comes to these chairs because we got another one. And there it is. That chair looks perhaps the most dangerous of them all. What does Kobe Carino have in store for our champion? White Mike being dragged back into the ring by his hair. And there's a plan. Kobe Carino was hoping to suplex White Mike onto those chairs, it looked like. And he got him! Huge suplex right on the chair. And here's the thing, he could cover him at this point and he could become champion. What a main event that we're he seeing here in Augusta, Georgia. This match has gone absolutely cuckoo for Coco Puffs. Kobe Carino would love to add another title to his resume. NWA star, NWA junior heavyweight champion looking to become IWE heavyweight champion tonight. And I'll tell you the dangerous thing about being locked into that uh, garbage can, you can't exactly see. So White Mike has no way to defend himself. Oh boy, oh boy, Kobe, Kobe could go coast to coast. Coast to coast. Oh, but he walks the ropes. Wow. Massive drop kick there from Kobe Carino. You want to talk about viral moments. That's one. Kobe Carino, he has two tonight. He totally does. And now he could have a champion with a count of three. No. Because that three count certainly would have been a viral moment as well. Kobe Carino. Now with a steel chair. And with that steel chair, what can he do? You know, you got to wonder what he's got planned. White Mike is definitely, definitely um, regretting agreeing to that no DQ match. I'll tell you what, White Mike, oh boy. He's definitely regretting it. Colby Carino, some kind of excited right now, and I understand why. Because he could just be moments away from becoming the new IWE Heavyweight Champion. Up top. Carino. Oh, no! How is that going to change the momentum of this match? Significantly and quickly. White Mike was looking for an opportunity to get this match back in his hands, and he looks like he's got it. He totally has it. White the Mike. The fans are on their feet. They're pumped. They're excited for this main event. Yes, they are. As White Mike, oh wow, now all over his challenger, Colby Carino. And I'll tell you what, with the no DQ clause that's in here, you really kind of throw traditional wrestling and wrestling moves out of the window. And look at that, is that a kung fu scratch there we see from White Mike? The 17 year veteran is the IWE heavyweight champion and he is on top of the world right now. Yeah, like Randy, he'd like to be sitting on top of the world if he can retain this championship. Big body slam here from White Mike. White Mike, oh, well, look at this. I don't know what you call what White Mike is doing. It's not exactly dancing or juking or jiving or... An awful lot for that elbow. And now we got the cover. Count of two, not enough to take out Colby Carino. White Mike said, if we had a dance competition here in IWE, I'm winning. Listen, he wants to win every kind of accolade possible. And you got to think about this. White Mike wants to take credit for everything because it was shortly after he won the IWE championship 
back in, in January that this company was named Promotion of the Year. He likely takes credit for that. He'll take credit for anything he can now that he is the IWE champion. You know what I heard White Mike say earlier? What did he say? If he was in that War Games match, and if he was representing IWE, this company would still belong to Tim Black. I'm sure he believes every bit of that. And now, Colby Carino placed up on the top rope by the champion, White Mike. White Mike. Here comes that chair again. What does White Mike have planned? European uppercut, or I don't know how far from Europe he grabbed that uppercut. White Mike said, Kobe Carino, you're going to create moments here in IWE. Well, it looks, I'm going to, too. Well, this is the question. What kind of moment will be created here? This looks very, very dangerous right now for everybody involved. Here comes the champ looking for perhaps a superplex off the top rope. But he can't get Kobe Carino up. Kobe Carino's fighting back. He's got to fight. He's got to fight if he wants to become champion. He's got to fight for his right to party. And now he has knocked the champion into a seat. He said, take a seat, White Mike. Could Carino, he hits it this time. That swan down off the top through the chair. And that's the move that he was going for earlier to see if he can win this match. And we've got a new champion. Whoa. Kobe Carino was inches to become IWE champion. Literally inches away from a brand new champion. And think about it. How would the direction of this company change if Kobe Carino could win the title. Remember, before that War Games match happened, it was this man, White Mike, who won that title. And I wonder if that was kind of the precursor to the direction changing here in this company. White Mike has been want he's been wanting to become IWE he heavyweight champion since he got to IWE. He's finally reached the mountaintop. He's in the main event tonight, but he's going up against one heck of a talent. And Colby Carino keeps chopping and putting all of these blows right now to White Mike, just beating him down. Literally punks jump up to get beat down, and that's the beat down that just happened right now with Kobe Carino. But I wonder if that little bit of hesitation is gonna affect Kobe Carino's momentum. Well, we'll see as Carino getting this crowd behind him. Here he goes, he got all of that one. He got all of it. Momentum what? continues to be engaged. White Mike is hurting right now. He calls this the Kobe Clash. And he couldn't get it. Oh, but he could get the sunset flip, perhaps, and turned it into the Kobe Clash. He's got White Mike up. Here it is. And could the championship be following? He got all of it. The Kobe Clash. In Kobe Carino's mind right now, he is the IWE champion. Here it is. Two, three. Wow. The disappointment in Kobe Carino's face right now speaks volumes. And with all of that said, we've got to say an awful lot about our champion, White Mike. He's not the poster boy for this company. He's not who you ideally would build a company around, but he's an awfully tough champion, and he's showing that toughness here tonight. Kobe Carino is standing on the mountaintop right now. Colby Carino would love nothing more than to leave Augusta with the IWE Championship in tow and perhaps return some degree of honor here to IWE. Oh, no. Gotta keep them separated. And that's the problem when you wait too long. White Mike picked his spot and had that drop right there onto the chair. Carino's White, in trouble. White Mike definitely had that that scouted. He certainly did. White Mike thought about that, picked his spot, and now White Mike's got a plan. But that plan may not work! Death Valley Driver through the chair! The IWE fans are still on their feet. Here we go! Two, three, wow! How many more of these close encounters of the third kind will we have for Kobe Carino. I thought that might have been it there, Gerard. I certainly thought that was it. There have been a number of really close falls here where it looked like this thing was over. 
And now Kobe Carino grabs himself another chair. Do you think that Kobe Carino is focusing too much on the weapons? No, I, I think he's right now trying to figure out if, if I can't do this without the weapons, I have the weapons at my disposal. I might as well use them. He didn't ask for this oh. note. He obviously had a plan in place asking for this no disqualification. Well, he did, but oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is that? I know exactly who that is. That's Rayhan Antaeus. But what is he doing here in IWE? White Mike. Oh, no. White Mike, don't do this. Oh, my gosh. A slam through the legs of that chair. No! Kobe Carino, he kicked out. Kobe Carino was distracted. And look at the size of this giant, Rayhan Anteus. Look at this man, this man is massive. He is massive, he is a monster. And now he's got Kobe Carino. And a tombstone pile driver. Looks like White Mike got a little insurance policy. Oh, it's, it's more than an insurance policy. It's full coverage. Oh, wait. And that. Is that the brass nuts? Now, why in the world do you need brass nuts? Of course, you don't need them. It's over. It's over.